Welcome to the Barchable. This is Tene. Today, I will be teaching you how to cook the Liberian pepper soup. The one for the coronavirus, you know. Something really hot and spicy. So, let's get started. As you can see, the meat I already cut. I rinsed it first. So, I just have a little bit of everything. Like a little bit of pig stuff. Now I already washed that first. And a little bit of um African chicken, turkey, goat meat. You can find all these meat in the Asian store or the African store. It's very easy. Look at the coziest Asian store or the African store around you. So I just using a little bit of air to the clean this way. How you guys been? How's everyone been, my people? I know this whole coronavirus thing is really killing us, but how you guys been? Okay, now this is the, the shrimp. I have already washed it, so I'm just rinsing them up. For the cow skin, you want to make sure you get a knife and scrub the back. To clean it up like you see I did. You see I clean inside. You want to make sure it's clean all the way. All the burnt stuff. You want to make sure it's not in it. Because if you leave it in there. It will um. Somebody can have sand in it. So please make sure you clean it very well. Like you see how I did mine. It's very important. Before you um. Like as I said I clean everything for mine. Before you cook it please guys. I don't make sure they're all scrub in very well. No sin in there. The fish. Please clean the mouth very well. You see, take everything out. The dry meat, yeah. I got it from the, the African store. So I'm to make sure you clean so it. You got all the eggs, so it's still good. So Stick it out, I guess, if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But yeah, uh, I'm not going to take everything out. With these fish, if you cut them small, small, they can mash it in the soup. So try not to make it too small, small, please. For me, I let my fish hair in the soup just for the smell. I don't know if you can see it very well, but this is how the meat looking. Now we're going to go to step two. So now it's time for the, the pepper and the onion. I have a little piece of onion that I used the other day. And then a whole onion. 
rinse it. Make sure you rinse it up. I'm using two garlic. It's up to you if you want more than two, please do. I'm using um six things of the spicy having the red pepper. Now this pepper is different from the regular pepper, guys. This is very spicy. This pepper is very spicy. See how you're looking? It's very spicy. So if you're cooking it, please don't cook too much. But if you are not a person that likes spicy pepper. I got this one from the farmer market this summer. You don't really see this spicy pepper in the store a lot. Like this kind, you don't really see it in the store a lot. So all I'm really doing is I'm chopping it up to blend them. Nothing really serious. If you have more bell pepper or onion or whatever you want to use, if you're onion person like that, use it. If you have more um, garlic, you want to use it, use it. I cook it for my house, so guys, so it's whatever their taste is, is what I'm doing. For the blender, I want to rinse it a little bit. I put small water, I like to put small water in it, just a little bit of water. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the pepper in and everything else. And you just blend it. Most likely I like to chop it, but do whatever you want. We're done blending the pepper. So what we're gonna do is just dump everything in here, the pepper, the onion, and the garlic from the sink, and put it in. Full thing of chicken soup, the magic living. When it comes to the chicken soup, people, it depends. And it also depends how big your pot is. So if you're cooking something smaller, you probably want to reduce the chicken soup. Now I'm going to put a full spoon of chicken flavor. I don't really cook salt like that because most of the season don't have salt. But when it comes to pepper soup, I put just a little bit of salt in it. So I'm putting just one spoon of salt. And for some people, that is more than enough. So, one spoon, I'm putting one spoon of garlic salt on it. I got this um, black pepper from the African store, that country pepper, guys. So, um, you don't have to put it in your pepper soup, but I usually put a little bit in my pepper soup. You don't need to, you don't have to. What I do, I beat it up there and put it. So guys, um, I have the African bitter ball. It's already um boiled, so I don't need to do anything with it. Again, you don't have to put it in if you don't want to. So now we're going to turn the stove on. To pop body meat a little bit before we start cooking. This is a pomato leaf, you can get it from the African store. I usually um put it over the fire a little bit. Please don't burn it like now. I'm gonna put it in the soup. Don't burn yours like I did mine. Okay. Then you just wanna pour a little bit of water. 
And then look, let it soup the boil a little bit. Let's keep it boiling for, I would say 20 minutes, it will come back to it. We'll keep it on for 20 minutes and we'll be back. The meat has been steaming over 20 minutes, so let's check it out, guys. Perfect. So now what I do, I put the water in it. But if you put the water in it, please try not to play with it or stir the fish. If you know you're going to play with it a lot, then take the fish out. But since I'm not going to play with it a lot, the fish will still be good. I'm just using a bowl of water basically, nothing much. So it's just the water from the sink. Just pour a little water there. I mean, they used to put a lot of water there. So now the way I put the water in, I already put all my seasoning in, so I don't need to put any more seasoning in. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna close the pot and pour the soup on medium and let it boil. Keep my eyes on the board. That's it. Okay, we're gonna let it boil. We're gonna let it boil for a little bit, keep the stove on medium, as I said. And then we will come back and take a look at it. Give it another, I will give it another 20 minutes. So keep the stove on medium, give it another 20 minutes, and look at it again. 20 to 30 minutes. Let's take a look at the soup. It has been boiling for over 30 minutes now. So let's see it. I would say almost 45 minutes. Okay. As you can see, guys, the soup look good. It sure tastes good, too, I can tell you. Um. Mmm. Perfect. Perfect, guys. I'm not lying to you. It's perfect. Please, if you taste your soup is is it needs something, please put it there. But mine is perfect, 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 perfect. So I'm gonna turn my stove off before my soup run out of my pot. Thank you very much for stopping by at my channel and seeing how I cook my pepper soup. This is how I cook my pepper soup. And as I tell you, I said when you don't play with it meat too much, it will still be good. So I didn't play with my meat. I just let it boil. So when you see, it's still good. See, I wasn't stirring the soup a lot. Really, I just let the soup to boil. So thank you for stopping by and watching my video. My goat meat with a soup with dried chicken. Come back next time for more video like this. Please, 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 guys. Please, I beg you, please. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please, guys, subscribe to my channel. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. And to those of you guys that already subscribed, I say thank you so much. I am going to be giving a giveaway pretty soon. I promise you. I promise you I have some surprise up my sleeve. So, so for those of you guys that are subscribed, I'll pay one of you guys. Pay one lucky winner pretty soon. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love and the support. All right. Bye-bye.